everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mambalut's Math Tutorial. This time, we will discuss the sum of the terms of the geometric sequence. But before that, let us recall, what is the nth term of the geometric sequence? So we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1, where our a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, r is the ratio, and n is the number of terms. Now let us derive the formula for the sum of terms of the geometric sequence. Let us consider the sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Find the sum of these five terms. So to get the sum, we simply add the five terms and of course we get a 31. But let us consider another process in order to have a pattern in how to derive the formula of the sum of the geometric sequence. Say we consider in multiplying both sides by 2, since 2 is the common ratio of this geometric sequence. So the equation now becomes 2 s sub 5 is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32. So all the terms on the right side are multiplied by 2. Now let us subtract the two equations that we have derived earlier. So observe here that we align the same terms so that we can cancel out when we subtract. So we have s sub 5 minus 2 s sub 5 is equal now to negative s sub 5 is equal to, so we just bring down 1 since it don't have any like terms. Then we cancel out sum of the terms. And then for the last term, we have 0 minus 32, so we get negative 32. So 1 minus 32 now becomes negative 31. So since we have a negative on S sub 5, so we need to divide the whole equation by negative 1. So, that becomes now positive S sub 5 is equal now to positive 31. So, we get a sum of the 5 terms which is 31. Now, we will use this process to derive the formula of the sum of the geometric sequence. So, we have now S sub n is equal to A sub 1 which is the first term. Plus, the second term is represented by a sub 1 times r. Plus, the third term is a sub 1 times r squared. Plus, and so on, until the last term, we have a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1, which is the formula of the n term of the geometric sequence. So, using the process that we did earlier, so we multiply the whole equation by r. So, that becomes now r times s sub n is equal now to a sub 1 times r. So, we align it also to the same terms plus a sub 1 times r squared plus and so on a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1 plus the last term multiplied by r would become a sub 1 times r to the n. So, we subtract now the two equations. So, that becomes s sub n minus r times s sub n is equal to, we bring down a sub 1, and then we cancel out the rest of the terms that are the same, and then the last term now is equal to 0 minus a sub 1 times r to the n, so that becomes negative a sub 1 r to the n. So observe here on the left side that s sub n is common to the two terms, so we can factor out s sub n. So that becomes now S sub n times 1 minus r is equal to, on the right side, A sub 1 is also common to the two terms. So again, we can factor out A sub 1. So that becomes now A sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n. So since we are aiming to solve for S sub n, so we will divide the whole equation by 1 minus r. So, on the left side, we can now cancel out 1 minus r. So, what's left is S sub n is equal now to A sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. This is now the formula for the sum of the terms of the geometric sequence. Now, let us have example number 1. 
Find the sum of six terms of the geometric sequence 2, 6, 18, and so on. So from the given, we know that the first term is equal to 2, R is equal to 3, and N is equal to 6. So using now the formula for the sum of the geometric sequence, so we will substitute the different given. So that becomes now S sub 6 is equal to 2, since 2 is our first term, times 1 minus 3, which is the common ratio, to the 6, because n is equal to 6, over 1 minus 3. So, simplifying further, we have now 3 to the 6 is equal to 729. And in the denominator, 1 minus 3 becomes negative 2. So, we subtract 1 minus 729, that becomes now negative 728. And then, we divide 2, divided by negative 2, that becomes negative 1. So, multiplying now negative 1 times negative 728, that becomes positive 728. So, that is now the sum of the six terms of the sequence given above. Now, what if R is equal to 1? So, if we use the formula for the sum of the geometric sequence and substitute 1 to R, that becomes now S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus 1 to the N over 1 minus 1. Now, take a look closely at the denominator. We have there 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. Since the denominator is 0, therefore, this number becomes undefined. So, we cannot use this formula if R is equal to 1. Instead, we can just multiply N times A sub 1. So, the formula for the S sub N, if R is equal to 1, is just N times A sub 1. Since you are just repeating the first term N times for R is equal to 1. For example... Find the sum of 12 terms of the geometric sequence 5, 5, 5, and so on. So, clearly, A sub 1 is equal to 5, R is equal to 1, and N is equal to 12, since we have 12 terms. So, we will just use the formula, S sub N is equal to N times A sub 1. So, we substitute N is equal to 12 times A sub 1, which is 5, and 12 times 5 is equal to 60. So, the sum of those 12 terms is just 60. Now, what if R is equal to negative 1? So, in this situation, we have two categories. The first one is if N is even. So, using the formula of the sum of the geometric sequence and substitute negative 1 to R, that becomes now S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus negative 1 to the N over 1 minus negative 1. So, since we are raising negative 1 to an even exponent, so the result is always positive. So, that becomes a sub 1 times 1 minus 1 over the denominator becomes 1 plus 1, so that is equal to 2. And then subtracting 1 minus 1, we get 0. And if we multiply a sub 1 to 0 and divide by 2, the result is also 0. So, therefore, the sum is always 0 if our r is negative 1 and n is even. For example, find the sum of 10 terms of the geometric sequence 5, negative 5, 5, and so on. So, here we know that a sub 1 is equal to 5, r is equal to negative 1, and n is equal to 10. So, basing from what we have discussed earlier, so since R is negative 1 and N is even, therefore, automatically, we can say that the sum of the 10 terms is 0. Now, let us proceed to the second category where N is an odd number. So, using again the formula of the sum of the geometric sequence and substitute negative 1 to R, we have again a sub 1 times 1 minus negative 1 to the n over 1 minus negative 1. So, negative 1 raised to the power of an odd exponent is also negative 1. So, that becomes now 1 
plus 1. Over, the denominator is also 1 plus 1, which becomes 2. So, adding 1 plus 1, we get now 2. And observe that we can cancel out 2. So, S sub n is equal to the first term. So, if R is negative 1 and n is an odd number, the sum of the terms is always the first term. Another example. Find the sum of 15 terms of the geometric sequence 7, negative 7, 7, and so on. So, here we know that A sub 1 is equal to 7, R is negative 1, and N is 15. So, since we know here that our N is an odd number, so automatically again, we can use the formula of S sub N is just equal to the first term. So, we have S sub 15 is just equal to 7. Okay. Is it possible to get the sum of an infinite number of terms in a geometric sequence? Now, let us take, for example, we have this sequence, 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, and so on. So, this is an infinite geometric sequence. So, from here, we know that our a sub 1 is equal to 1. Our ratio is 1 half, and n is infinite or up to infinity. So, if we substitute to the formula of the sum of the geometric sequence, we have now 1 times 1 minus 1 half to the n over 1 minus 1 half. Now, let us focus first on the exponential form 1 half to the n. And let us make a table of its different values. So, we have here the upper part of the table is n. And then, the second row is 1 half to the n. So, we can see here that if n is equal to 1, the second row is 1 half. If n is equal to 2, that becomes now 1 fourth. If n is equal to 3, we have 1 eighth. If n is equal to 4, we have 1 over 16. And if that n is equal to 5, we have 1 over 32, and so on. And if you observe the values of 1 half to the n, as n increases, 1 half to the n decreases and approaches to 0. That is why there, if n is infinite, so 1 half to the n most likely become 0. So in that case, we can substitute it to the formula of the sum, and that becomes now, 1 half to the n becomes now 0. So, we have 1 minus 0 is equal to 1, and 1 times 1 is still equal to 1. And if we go back to the original formula, this one here on the numerator is equal to the first term, and then denominator is equal to 1 minus r. So, the formula of the sum of the infinite number of terms of the geometric sequence is S sub infinity is equal to A sub 1 over 1 minus R. And you have to take note that it only exists if R is greater than negative 1 or less than positive 1. Now, let us have another example. Find the sum of the geometric sequence 27, 9, 3, and so on. So, from here, A sub 1 is equal to 27. R is 1 third. And n is infinite. So, since we know that r is less than 1, so we can use the formula of the sum of the infinite terms of the geometric sequence, which is a sub 1 over 1 minus r. So, substituting the values, we have 27 over 1 minus 1 third. Subtracting the denominator, 1 minus 1 third is equal now to 2 thirds. And since we are dividing fractions, so we multiply the reciprocal of the denominator, that becomes now 27 times 3 halves. So 27 times 3 is equal to 81. So we get 81 over 2, which is the sum of the infinite geometric sequence mentioned above. So to summarize the different formulas of the sum of the geometric sequence, so we have S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R to the n over 1 minus R can be used if R is not equal to 1. And if R is equal to 1, we will only use S sub n is equal to n times the first term. 
And if r is equal to negative 1, s sub n would be equal to 0 if n is even. And if n is odd, s sub n is equal to the first term. And lastly, we have s sub n is equal to a sub 1 over 1 minus r if r is greater than negative 1 but less than 1 and n is infinite. Thank you so much for listening. Now it's your turn to answer your mojo. But don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for more videos. That would be all at your service, Mambalot. Thank you so much.